Hi, Teddy Bears. I'm going to read you a book called Are We Still Friends? Beatrice and Abel lived side by side with a low stone wall between them. Abel grew apples, Beatrice raised bees. They were the finest of friends indeed, and so were the bees and the trees. In summer, when honey filled Beatrice's hive, she hollered, hello, Abel, are you free? And he crossed the low wall to help gather the sticky sweet liquid. They had a special plan for that honey. In autumn, when apples filled Abel's trees, he called, hello, bee, please. And she crossed the low wall to help harvest the ripe red fruit. Abel's apples dipped in bee's honey would make a sweet Rosh Hashanah treat. In winter, the bees and the trees rested, so Beatrice and Abel rested too. Side by side, they spread crispy toast with apple butter and sipped warm tea with honey. Beatrice and Abel needed each other all year, but especially in springtime when Abel's trees filled with flowers. Beatrice's bees needed flower nectar to make their honey. Abel's trees needed bees to spread their pollen to make their fruit. Back and forth across the wall, bees flew until... One spring morning, whack! Abel smacked into a branch. Ouch! The smack started a bee. Zing! The bee stung Abel right on his nose. Yow! Abel yammered. Wee! Across the wall, Beatrice heard Abel squeal. What a silly laugh, she thought. Wee! She laughed back. Was Bee laughing at him? Abel wondered. He rubbed his sore nose. Blasted Bee, he, yellow, he bellowed. Was Abel talking to her? Beatrice wondered. Don't you bellow at me, she yelled. Pie face. Pie face, Abel sputtered. Well, you're a fuzz brain. Wormy go gore. Fuzz brain. Back and forth, the words flew until Beatrice and Abel marched into their houses and slammed the doors behind them. There sat Abel, his hurt ripening with like a big round apple. Pie face, he spluttered. I don't need her on or her bees. And there sat Beatrice, her anger buzzing like an irate insect. Fuzz brain, she muttered. I don't need him or his trees. But outside, the bees continued their quiet business. Back and forth across the wall, they flew, sipping nectar and spreading pollen, just the same as always. Abel scribbled a sign and planted it where the bees would see it. But the bees didn't care about a sign. No bees allowed. Beatrice built a fence to keep the bees on her side, but the bees didn't care about that fence. Up in his attic, Abel gathered a jumble of junk. He piled it up on the wall. Down in her basement, Beatrice found a mismatch of trash she stacked on, uh, on Abel's jumble. Sour apple, Beatrice snarled. Fuzz brain, Abel answered. And you know what the bees did? But Beatrice and Abel didn't care. Higher and higher, they stacked and piled until... Plink, something slipped. Blink something dipped and with a clatter and a crash the whole teetering me mess tumbled into the bee yard what a mess in all that tangle there wasn't a sign of beatrice hello abel called no answer hello abel shouted where was she then she heard something it could have been the bees or the wind in the trees but it seemed to be coming from the pile and it seemed to be saying, hello, hello, Abel called, hello. At last, Abel found her. Hello, bee, he whooped. I thought I'd lost you. Hello yourself, she croaked. I thought you didn't care. Abel offered a hand and helped her climb out.
I thought you were laughing at me, he said. I'm sorry. I thought you were insulting me, she said. I'm sorry too. Are we still friends? Indeed. They looked at the yard. What a royal mess. I'll put everything in apple pie order, Abel promised. I'll help, Beatrice said. So side by side, they cleaned everything up. Back in Abel's kitchen, they spread crispy toast with apple butter and sipped warm tea with honey. We're numbskulls, said Beatrice. Mush minds, Abel agreed. They were the finest of friends indeed, and so were the bees and the trees. Just the same as always. Hope you enjoyed the book, teddy bears. Have a good afternoon.